this is going to be an X reading. And we're going to look at if they are coming back. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with Aries X. And see if they are coming back. Are they coming back? Let's see what the cards tell us. Aries X. Are they coming back? Please show me. Please show me. What does Aries need to know about their X and if they're coming back? Aries. Sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Aries. All right, guys. All right. Ooh, that's too many cards. Definitely not taking those. That's about 10 cards, guys. Let's see. <clears throat> Just really waking up. Had a cup of coffee already. But I'm getting in the, in the groove of things right now. Let's see. Is Aries X coming back? This you guys. Let's see. Where did I put that card? Six of Swords is where you are right now. Page of Pentacles is where they are right now. You are feeling like you have um, you you've, you're moving from something that was really really tough and going towards something that is um, better suited for you. Um, it looks like you are, you know, headed in this person's direction. And I see this person wanting to apologize, but they're not quite there yet. They're not there yet. But I, I, I feel like they really are contemplating um, coming towards you, maybe apologizing for something that they have possibly done, um, offering you something, but they haven't made that final decision yet, okay? Could be an earth sign here. Oh, got the turn of cards over and pull from the bottom of the deck. I'm gonna take that card, okay? Now, what you want is basically you know, not to be argumentative, not to um, overreact. You want to be able to say what it is that you need to say, when you need to say it, and how you need to say it here. With the Knight of Swords, you, you must have a lot of air in your chart. That's where you're at right now, or what you want, you know. Um, what they're trying to do is get over this broken heart. They're broken hearted, okay? Now, keep in mind, guys, that um, when I say you and them, the energies actually can go vice versa. You may be on this side and they may be on the other side. So take it how it resonates for you. Okay. So somebody here is really trying to get over a broken heart is what they want. They want to get past it. Um, but they're having a hard time getting past it and coming towards you because they're so focused on the past and what and what it is that you know has brought you guys to this this state right now and <clears throat> they're looking back but you're looking forward currently okay they're too focused on the broken heart to make a move towards you at this point okay what you need is not to give up not to give up on love, um, not to give up on things that are actually, basically be grateful for what it is that you have, okay? Because you do have love and it may not be, you know, physical love with this person currently, but you do have a lot of things to be thankful for in your life. A lot of people surrounding you that love you. Um, so don't get complacent, okay? That's what you need is to be grateful and recognize and acknowledge the things that are actually present and good in your life currently because we have a lot of things to be thankful for okay 
what they need is to move out of this this broken heartedness um holding on to things they need to 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 come towards you okay have a cancer here so really they're and i feel like they are going to come towards you because the the chariot is um is a major arcana card so <laughs> excuse me so the energy is like propelling them the is is right for is right for them to come towards you but they they may be a very um stubborn person okay and what they are heartbroken over you know somebody that's not so stubborn may not see like the the reasoning behind why why they are heartbroken um it could be just a slight um maybe you said something that they did not like you know something like that because i don't feel like it's anything major it's the reason why they're heartbroken broken but you on the other hand i feel like um, there was something very uh, wrong that went on in the past, something very hurtful for you to feel like, you know, now you're sailing into calmer waters. Now you're going forward um, and moving past the things that really, really hurt you. Okay. I feel like you both were heartbroken, but for different reasons in this situation. Okay. Let's see. And then last card is if union is likely. So let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Definitely, guys. The higher fent. Okay. Legalities. Um, card of marriage. So I definitely see Taurus as well. Couldn't deal with a Taurus. But I definitely see um, that it's very likely that this person is coming back. And it's very likely that you guys will um, get together and, you know, become a couple again, a solid couple with a good foundation. Okay. We also have air here. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but mostly Aquarius. Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer. What I see here, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna pull two oracle cards. One from um, the Divine Feminine Oracle. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have Freya, the goddess of discernment. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes okay so make sure you do what's right for you okay do what's right for you because when this person comes back and they are i feel like um you're you're really gonna have to use your intuition and um you know to make a decision that's right for you all right let's see what else we got here Move your body. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and energy. Keep that energy flowing, okay? Keep that energy flowing. Get outside, breathe some fresh air. Um, don't don't consume yourself with this connection because you know what's gonna happen, what's meant to happen is going to happen in divine timing, in the right timing, okay? So you can't force anything. Um, so just be patient, okay? All right, Aries, that is your X reading for November 13th through the 20th. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.